guys, what's going on? I have a tiny bit of a rant. I stopped doing the so-and-so Days of Black Friday by True Love sent to me because, number one, my computer broke. And number two, I started getting stuff in that was either wrong, they sent the wrong thing, or I didn't like. I got a bed in a bag. And usually when you get a bed in a bag from Macy's, it's this really nice, um, big, plush, comfy blanket that you can just kind of snuggle with. And what I got is more like a duvet, and a duvet is more of a thin blanket that's kind of like sheen and really pretty. Um, sheen is like kind of like silky, satiny-ish, you know. So I don't like the blanket. I love the sheets, though. The sheets are awesome, and the pillowcases are awesome. But I don't like the, um, the blanket, and I don't like the shams. So I'm thinking about packaging it back up, and trying to sell it on let go for at least $25 to $30. I might take like a $10 um, decline on the money, but at least hopefully I can sell it for something. So there's that. And then I got all my Joann's fabrics, fabric in finally. And um, I got something for Yvonne and that was wrong. They sent me the wrong kind of fabric. I wanted the flannel one. They sent me a different like a more like a sheen percal kind of feel and then they sent me a white fabric when it was supposed to be gray for my cushions for my couch and then the one that I ordered I didn't like and then I was gonna have make something for Dottie and that didn't come in at all and then when I went to the store she's like oh well we don't deal with that you gotta talk to them online like she was passing the buck you know so I'm a little peeved and today I got an item in I made handmade um, pillows for my brother because he loves them he's a pillow hoarder he has like 20 pillows in his bed and I made two nice ones from this year and they're um, there's a, a gray background with snowflakes and just like red deer you know like the um anyways I'm getting tired so that came in, um, something came in today, and it was supposed to be, have deer on it to match the pillows, and it has bulldogs on it, instead they sent the wrong one, so I just called them, they're gonna send me another one, but now I gotta deal with shipping this back out to you, with UPS, so I gotta wait for the, um, what's it called, the return label, <laughs> um, and then I was, I'm interested in starting, trying to make the pacifier clip thingies. <laughs> what you call them? I'm sorry, guys. I'm just I'm getting a little tired right now. I've been up since 7:30. <sighs> so I'm having to deal with all these things, take them back to the store, and da 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 da. And um, so besides that. Um, I got my mom a pair of black yoga pants because she's always commenting on how much she likes mine. So I got her a pair of that. I got me another pair. Um, I got her some slippers. You already saw that. I'm hoping to go to Walmart and at least get her a package of socks. Um, that way I can put a little bit more in. Um, I think. I got her a little... She's not really... Usually I buy her the, like a big package of those turtles. They're like pecan caramel patty things. And But she's really trying to be good with her weight right now. So I really don't want to go against it. But I bought her milk duds. A <laughs> big package before I knew that she was doing that. So I'm going to give that to her. I bought her the, the gold hoop earrings. Let me see if I can pause so I can find those earrings and show you. Alright, so I got her these um, hoops. I got them from Walmart. They're about 50 bucks. And, um, I'll have to take the tag off. But she likes small, kind of very simple earrings. I might try to find another package or at least maybe take the label off, but I got her those. And, um, those are the only things that I could think of getting her, um, that she would really, really, really love. So, 
These are 10 karat gold, and I'm happy that I got her these. And I got her like um, a five year kind of warranty thing, but I'm keeping that, and I'll give her um, a gift receipt with this. So that way, she, she, she doesn't like them, but she'll love them. Um, then she can take them back. Um, what else? So I finished, finally finished, my gingerbread um, house. Also, another thing that happened recently is I cannot upload anything to YouTube with my Android. Um, there's like this error, error 410, not enough storage, which I've had my, my phone for like two years. I really need a new phone, but I can't do new phone and new computer. And I'm pretty sure that, I can't say this, if I don't get a computer for Christmas, which I'm not, I'm not, I'm hoping for, but I'm not expecting, you know what I mean? Um, so, got her slippers, I got her those, I got her her pants, and I'm hoping to get her just a couple more little things from the store, like socks, you know, something like that. She would love a nice, big, large form of hoodie, but they're always at least 20 to $25. So, um, I got my brother... The new blanket should be here before Christmas. She said it should be here by like the 22nd, 23rd, something like that. Hopefully I'll have the pillow. I got the two pillows, the blanket, and I got him a gift card. So, and, um, so yeah, I'm just, I don't think I'm going to order from anywhere except for Macy's next year. I just, this year was a total pain in the butt. And also if you get, if you should happen to order something from um, a store online that you might not have that store in your town, you've got to send it back to the store. Like, if you can just take it into your store, um, in your town, that's pretty easy. But if you've got to ship it back to a warehouse somewhere, that's just so much more work. So, um, okay. Ending that, just, that's over with. Um, for Christmas Day... Usually my mom and my brother pick me up about 8, 8.30 in the morning, real, real early. We go, we have breakfast at Denny's, um, and we go back and we open up our gifts. And then within, which takes maybe about an hour, hour and a half, tops. And then within half an hour after that, um, I go back home and I stay the rest of the day with myself. And um, my mom and my brother go off to my family's house. Um, and I've, I've spoken to Dottie about this. We've become really good friends. We talk on the phone a lot that I'd rather be by myself than to be with people that don't want me there. So, um, so my plans are that I'm going to get back home. Or I might take a nap because getting up at 7 o'clock to get showered and dressed and makeup and hair. <laughs> <laughs> and of course I could be a schlub and just throw something on, but I don't want to do that, you know. Um, and if I haven't already said this, your Christmas cards are coming soon. They might get come late for Christmas. But I had like these little cute stickers on the back, and they're like, it's going to cost 21 cents per more for, for each card and all this stuff. So you're going to get them late, but I, I'm sending out some Christmas cards. Um, or was I? So I'm going to come home, probably take a nap for a while, make sure everything is clean, clean, clean. I might make some cookies. Um, I'm definitely going to make the Oreo truffle balls with chocolate. I'm going to make some, yeah, some sugar cookies. And what I'm going to do is I actually need a side, which I forgot. Um, I'm going to make my grandmother's chicken and biscuits. And she would boil chicken the day before, or even that day. Sorry, my tongue was dry. <laughs> like a cat. <laughs> and I take that broken up chicken. I like chicken, um, the breast. I, you know, the meat is okay, but I prefer the um, chicken breast, skinless, boneless. And I boil it or I bake it, and um, I break it all apart, put it in the bottom of the pan. And I make some gravy. My grandmother made like this white sauce gravy. I'm not sure. It's not like a sausage. It's not like 
the southern white sauce for breakfast. I was like, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I don't know how to make that white sauce. So I put in regular chicken gravy. Um, I bought some packets to make. And I put it on top of the chicken. And then I used biscuits. Um, I'm struggling today. You can see. Bisquick. And make some biscuits. And always make a couple extra just in case you want some with butter. And I put them on top of the gravy and the chicken. Make sure you have enough gravy to cover everything. And I put it in the oven for like half an hour to 40 minutes. Just until the biscuits are done. And it's kind of like a one dish thing. Um, I'm thinking now I'm going to have to have some sides. So I'm going to look at my freezer to see if I need anything for that meal. But that is going to be my meal for Christmas Day. And I'm excited for that. And, um, do I miss being around people at Christmas? I do. But what I knew is no more. I think that's why I get sad at Christmas time. Not because I, I don't have anybody to be with, but because it's not like it used to be. You know, when somebody passes in the, in the family, when somebody passes on, it, all the traditions kind of, wow, I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't want to make anybody sad, so I'm just going to stop right there, but I'd rather be alone than to be with people that don't want me, so um, I usually sing some songs and sing happy birthday to Jesus, and I gaze at the, um, the manger that I put together that was my grandfather's. Um, I did a video, but that was on my Android. Um, but yeah. I think that the most important thing that I have to remember, it, it's about God. It's not about me. And Christmas is about loving somebody else. And, and not being selfish. And so, I try to do that as best as I can. You know, just love on other people. Just just pick up their morale I'm on Facebook. I might say some really nice comments, thinking about you, you know, saying prayers for you. Um, so yeah, if I if I'm busy blessing and loving on other people, that makes me feel very happy because I know that I'm doing my father's job, his business. So it is like one o'clock almost and I have not eaten at all and I've been up since seven thirty, so I'm hungry. I gotta go eat, and, um, I'm not in a sad place right now. Sometimes I come off a little bit sad, um, because I'm, like, so up and talking all the time, and da-da-da-da-da. When I'm just talking like this, I'm just, I'm happy right now. I'm looking at my tree, I'm looking at the decorations on the wall, I'm looking at the decorations on my windows, my, my living room is clean, my dining room is clean. I'm content right now. I'm very happy that there's not a whole heck of a lot of work that I have to do to clean before Christmas. I have to do a little bit of sweeping, a little bit of mopping, some vacuuming, picking up here and there, but I'm pretty much set for Christmas. So, for me to have a clean home before Christmas <laughs> makes me very relaxed. Makes me very happy. I'm not, my OCD is not sitting there like itching to, I gotta clean this and I gotta clean this and oh my god and oh my god and oh my god, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't mean to come across sad. I'm not, what, you know, if I could have my druthers, would I love my grandmother to be back here again and to be alive again? Of course I would. Everybody would love their loved ones to be with them again. And, and I really feel like before God came into my life that she was my light and she was my everything and when somebody is your light and somebody is your everything and you lose them that that's a hard thing to really adjust to I mean it's it's 15 years later 16 years later and I'm still not adjusted you know like you know it takes a lot of time to adjust to somebody's passing and to accept it like I said before, just because they're gone, just because they passed on, um, and that's final doesn't mean that it's any easier to accept. So, um, I think the most thing that I'm a little anxious about now is just getting some more food in the house. 
I really need to go grocery shopping, and I'm hoping my mom can take me, hopefully tomorrow or the next day. But, um, as for that, either on Friday or Saturday, I promised that I'd go help her wrap all the presents for everybody else in the family, which I do not mind in the least. I kind of, that brings me joy. Um, I don't have to do it. I offered my services. It brings me joy because we're there together, wrapping presents. There, it's, it's a, For me, it's about bonding and that time together for Christmas and seeing my mom freak out and lose the scissors and lose the tape and, <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, that's kind of my Christmas gift to her as well, is to help her to wrap all the gifts for everybody else. So, yeah. I am about to lose my voice. And my throat is, is tired. So, I'm going to go. But I sure love you, and I pray that y'all have a wonderful Christmas, and I can't wait to see more. I don't know even who, know her name yet. I'm, I haven't even watched a lot of movies, guys. I'm sorry, just because I'm trying to watch my data. Now that I, I'm using, I can use Wi-Fi, but most of the time my Wi-Fi doesn't work with either my Android or my iPad. It, use, it worked really well with my computer, and you're like, how does that happen? I know. It's... So I haven't, I haven't been, been watching a lot of videos, but I don't even know her name. Tara's new little silicone baby girl. I cannot wait to see her have a bath. No pressure, because I know it's Christmas and you're busy, busy. I know that. <laughs> no pressure. This is not like a intimidating, pressuring video. But um, I just can't wait to see that, and I can't wait to see uh, Dottie's video, more of her videos, and, and um, yeah, so... I'll try to do at least one video with baby each day, um, but we'll see. So, gotta go. I really have to go. I love you. Talk to you soon. And bye, guys. And again, if you have to talk to me, please talk to me on Instagram, because I can I can um, look at stuff on Facebook, but I with my this right here with my iPad, but I cannot post anything. As soon as I type a word and press space, it erases it. I can't even type like a long, long, long sentence. Um, I have to do like, I, I don't know, anyway. So if you need to talk to me, please private message me on Instagram. That is how you're going to get to talk to me. All right, I love you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. And also, while you're right now in this busy season, just don't forget to just still yourselves for a minute. You know, sometimes when you get over anxiety and over anxious and and all that stuff, when you still yourself for a minute and just say, okay, I'm good. It's just an emotion. It's just a feeling. It'll pass. And just still yourself and make sure to enjoy the process of Christmas, not just the end result. Because the end result is, what, like a few hours to some people? Just enjoy the process. So I love you. Talk to you soon.